Okay, uh, hi, my name is Nicholas Gregorio. I drink my coffee with three sugars, no cream. Oh, this week I would like to feature my Lawn Lawn Ranch uh, Ocarina of Time coffee mug. I love this mug. So there I was sitting in algebra class and I was thinking about what video it was that I wanted to make uh, for the following week. And the immediate things that came to my mind were coffee and just talking to a camera. And then I immediately followed that up with, this has been done before. This has been done before. There have been tons of people who just sit in front of a camera and just drink coffee. So then I asked myself, what makes it any different if you do it? Well, nothing. I don't know how I'm gonna set this up really. As far as I know, I just wanna talk to a camera at the end of the day, as, as long as I'm holding a cup of coffee and just talk about things that are on my mind, you know? Recently, I picked up Iowati on Iowati, a cinematic odyssey. I, I'm not done with this book, but my first impressions are I, I think this is this is a very a very funny book. You know, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. I I I, I think this book is great. I I think it gets better the more that I go on with it. So I'm just gonna have to keep reading it. I already have my own little sticky notes of my favorite bits in the book. I read a little bit. I've lived in film, for film and through film. I've lived by film and to buy film. I've bought film and I've bought into film. I've been in film. Film has been in me. I've sold film. I've sold into films. I've seen the film Grease. I've seen a film of Grease. I've yet to see a film in Grease or while being Grease. Oh my god. It's stuff like that that makes me want to keep going on with this book and you know. Before I started the channel Out of Focus, um, my goal as a filmmaker to be, do I call myself a filmmaker? Dude, I've been over this so many times, I don't know why I'm still asking that. Before I started this channel, I wanted to make the goal for myself to become a better writer. So that was when I started free writing. You can see, it started in this $20 notebook that I never wrote in because my mentality was like, I'm not gonna write in this journal unless like my writing is worth putting into a $20 notebook. And then one day I was just like, I just need to write something. And that's when I started free writing. To me, free writing is just writing any random thought that comes to my head. It can be as intrusive, it can be as sporadic. There doesn't need to be any organization. I don't reread any of the free writing that I get done because when I free write, my purpose is, yes, to strengthen my writing, but right now, I wanna see how much writing I actually get done when I'm not playing the perfectionist, when I'm not correcting myself. So it could literally just be me writing, okay, so tomorrow I have to get this done, and then I have to read this book. Oh, I wanna make sure I fit in a play session of Super Mario Odyssey. It could be anything like that. It could be as mundane as that, you know? And you know what, it's really helped. I don't know, it helps me clean out my mind. It helps me get all the clutter out of there that I don't need, you know? It helps me get all these ideas and topics off of my, off my train of thought that don't need to be in there so that I can spend time thinking about other things that I that I actually need to focus on. It just helps because it I can see my thought process and I can monitor how I'm making decisions, you know. And this one I got, um, I wanted to get it just in case like, this is gonna be for when I have like an hour or two or three or eight to sit down and write so that I can really just like spend time and pour out into these big, ginormous pages. That's, so yeah, free writing's been one of my things lately. I have to mention this at some point, cause I'm, I know that other people think it, but I don't see it. Everybody keeps telling me how big my hair is, and I know that it's like, it's long, but everybody like makes a big deal out of it. I mean, I guess it is a big deal when I can't even fit into frame, but you know. Like, where I work, 
people are trying to get me to cut my hair. Um, my parents are trying to get me to cut my hair. Dude, do I really need to cut? Is it that bad? I wouldn't be talking about it if people didn't make it out to be such a big deal. You know what it is? I was traumatized as a child. I used to get haircuts from my parents and they always like loved it short. They loved cutting my hair real short. And you know, I guess that sort of contributes to my mentality today because now I probably get a hair I probably get a professional haircut about bi yearly. <laughs> um for the most part, I cut my hair with the tiniest piece of scissors. You know, some come, it looks really jagged right now, but I don't care. Why is my hair such a big deal, man? Why can't people just like leave me alone? I just wanna like, I'm, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like compensate for like the small head that I have with this big hair. Everybody like comments about how it looks like it just woke up and got out of bed, but you know, that's what I'm trying to go for because, because if I don't put anything like at all, into this this thing then I end up looking like an Asian foreign exchange student. One of my old co-workers told me that I looked like a more normal version of Moss from the IT crowd. That's not why I picked up this book. Um, is that a compliment? I came here to drink milk and kick ass. And I've just finished my milk. Okay, I feel like this video is actually starting to drag on, so... Actually, I think I know what I'm gonna call this series now. Uh... Yeah, I guess it looks like I'm all out of coffee. <laughs>